Well, hey, thanks for joining me for another daily touch point with the CA staff. We're in Numbers chapter 35, which means we only have one day left in the book of Numbers. And if any of you have made it all the way through the book of Numbers with us, then I think you should let us know who you are so we can send you a gold star or something, because this has been a, a tough book to, to get through. But this chapter 35 is really interesting because it, it talks about what's called the cities of refuge. God put in place a program for his people that when they were in dispute with one another, and one might be after the other for their life for something that they had done, someone in trouble like that could flee to a city of refuge where they could be safe. Now, I don't have time in this touch point to explain the whole idea of a city of refuge. I want you to hear the verse 34, last verse of chapter 35. It's the Lord speaking to the people of Israel, and this is what he says. You must not defile the land where you live, God says, for I live there myself. I am the Lord who listen to this, lives among the people of Israel. And here's the deal. He's talking about his people being in dispute with one another, having conflict. And God says, remember, when that happens, I am there with you. I'm among my people. It kind of makes me think about a parent. Uh, and if their kids are in a dispute or if somebody... Uh, mistreats one of my children, I'm going to have a problem with that because that's my son or my daughter. I'm going to get involved in that. The Lord is involved in every dispute, every conflict between his children. And so I just want you to remember, as we go through life, there will be times when we get into conflict with one another. But you can trust that God is among you and that he can help us to navigate that in such a way that we find refuge, that we find uh, a way out of that trouble and that conflict. So trust God to be involved in your disputes uh, if you happen to run into one today or if you've been living through one. He's with you. Let's pray. God, I pray that you would be with us in a special way all throughout our day. And if we run into conflict, God, I pray that we would turn to you first and ask for your help because you're among your people, even when they are in conflict with one another, and you want to be involved in those disputes. We welcome you. We ask for your wisdom, and we ask for you to bring us through those times into a place of peace with one another. We trust you for this in Jesus' name, and we pray together and say, Amen. God bless you all day long.